be doing a full b-roll breakdown a solo mobile b-roll i'm going to be filming everything by myself of myself i'm going to show you the full behind the scenes process and then at the end of the video i'm going to show you what the final edit actually looks like today we have a little secret weapon which is the hohem iSteady m6 and the reason why this is going to help us out so much is because it has these tracking sensors on top and you can even move this little module if you want to film either way so we can flip it around make sure we're using our back cameras to get the best quality that we can we've got a fun little scene today i'm going to be parking the van getting a skateboard out the back skating down this pretty gnarly hill and then stopping at like a kind of viewpoint and i'm hoping that this little hohem m6 is going to help us get all the shots that we need so let's get straight into it starting off because it's a solo b-roll video i'm just going to get some movements in my shots by getting some establishing shots that don't have me in them so a nice one of the view here is going to be sweet and i can just do a nice pan up and then i'll get another one down here from some of these bushes in my foreground and just get a nice kind of sliding shot like this and that's just basically going to be a few opening shots so that the viewer knows like where we are i want to get one of the road because we're going to be doing skateboarding makes sense to show the kind of road that we're going to be on and i think i can get a cool one from the middle here and then just sort of pan up the first shot of actual moving stuff is going to be me just pulling the van into there so i'm going to balance this on this rock hopefully we don't lose it and then i'm just going to pull in and i could track the van if i wanted to but i'm going to save that this kind of looks nice as a little lock off shot So I did the whole sequence just because then I can have a nice wide of it and now I'm going to do a close up of the actual like taking the skateboard out the back and I'm going to grab the skateboard and then put it in front of the camera just to kind of like black out the camera and wipe past it and I'll transition it into my next shot which is going to look really nice so I'll just hit record on there and then pretending like I'm doing the same thing I did last time I just come here Okay, our next shot I'm going to get from that last transition, I'm going to be looking up the hill here and then I'm just going to start my shot from being like fully blacked out by the board like this and then I'm going to walk up the road and skate back down. So, let's go. <laughs> Basically what's really cool about this is I have the module and I can go like that and I can make it track me by going like this and then it locks onto me and now it's going to follow me around with a cool little hand gesture so I'm going to go from here now next shot we're going to get a nice POV a nice way just to introduce more movement into our shots so I'm going to be looking down like this and I can keep the gimbal up here knowing that it's going to be super stable and I can just get some shots skating like this. Some turning, looks super cool. And that's pretty much all I need just to cut between those shots. We're going to be getting from the opposite side looking back at me but something if you guys notice is that I'm staying on this side of the road for all of the shots just that I'm moving from right to left in my frame frame it looks like I'm going the same direction the whole time it's gonna make a lot more sense when you watch it so this one I'm gonna look back like this and I'm gonna come right in front of it and just do like a nice little turn I could track this one but I actually don't want to I think it's gonna look quite cool if I turn right in front of it and then shoot off the frame you need to be creative with the shots that you're getting just so you can like get different angles something that I like to do is use a big tripod to get high and we have this tripod here today so I'm gonna get a shot from up on the roof just looking down at me 
and it will show a really cool perspective of like looking down the road and I can skate off into the distance kind of. If you guys want to learn about mobile filmmaking, I actually just came out with an entire mobile filmmaking course that's like a deep dive into everything you need to know from settings to accessories to shooting demonstrations. It's going to be linked in the top of the description. It's 50% off for the launch, so go and check it out. I'm going to get one shot from directly behind me, just using these road lines as leading lines kind of to me. It looks really nice in the frame. And then I'm just going to skate into frame and skate down the hill. It may seem like sometimes we're getting like a lot of the same shots, but when you cut them together, they can all work really nicely. And by doing the same sequences over and over again, you can pick between the different angles and cut them together to make it look nice and like fast paced little moving video. So we're gonna get a couple more. We're getting to the end of our scene now. So we're gonna get one side on tracking shot right here, putting the tracking to the test again. And what we can do is, be nice and far back here. Make a track me by doing one of these. And then I'm just gonna skate past. Okay, we're gonna get one shot of the camera being straight in the middle of the road. And I'm gonna come towards it and do like a nice turn for ending the skateboarding and then walk to the edge so that we have a nice bit of an ending to our video. So let's start up here. And I'm just going to come towards it. Oh, did I rip my pants? No, I didn't. These are my favorite pants. Okay, a little less aggressive. One shot kind of looking up to where we're going to be ending off. I'm just going to walk and jump onto the rock. So as if I just did my little skid and then I can come here. So I'm going to get a nice ending shot, a big one of me arriving at the end. I'm going to use these rocks as a bit of a tripod to get a nice wide angle of me actually stopping there. So I'm here somewhere. That looks really nice. And I'll just come into the frame and then arrive at the end there. And then that is gonna be our ending. That is gonna be all of the shots that we need for our little video. Let's see what it looks like once we've edited to some music and done some cool effects. Okay, that was the edit. Hope you guys thought it was cool. Remember, if you want to check out the Hohem iSteady M6, it's going to be linked in the top of the description. If you want to deep dive into mobile filmmaking, my course is going to be in the top of the description. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one.